What? Prayer. Daniel was devoted to prayer life. And he was not praying anyhow, not to anyone, but to the God of heaven. So when the command came that no one should pray to any other person except to the king who is not God, Daniel said, no way. I am devoted to God. No matter how you push me, no matter how you urge me, God and God alone. That is what it means to have a devotional life. Not doing it only in the morning, I am done. In the afternoon, I can do whatever I want. That is not devotion. Now we go to how can we have a devotional life? Okay? And this time, saints, I hope you will take this thing down. Okay? Can you see from here? Can you see? No. Okay. I'll get closer. You give me, okay. Very good. Who here joined Marco Halifax? How can we also have a devoted life? Like Jesus himself, like Daniel, like the three Hebrew boys, so that we can remain faithful to God all the time. This is from one doctor by name, Jekyll. And he said the Christ challenge. What does it mean? Let Christ or allow Christ to challenge you to live for the faith. Now, what is your faith? I am a Seventh-day Adventist. And my parents are Seventh-day Adventists. Therefore, what we do as a church, not for the church, but for Jesus, is what I will do. What are some of them? Christ challenge. The letter C says, can we all read? Okay, so from Matthew chapter 22, 36 to 38, we have to develop a relationship. And when do I have to have this relationship? With Christ, I have to have it all the time. With trust, not doubting Him. No matter the problems that I have in life, if my mom, my dad cannot give me money, if my aunt, my lola, lola, uncle cannot give what I need, Christ can be trusted to provide all that I need. When I have this trust in Christ, I have devotion with him. It continues by saying, prayer. I have to pray whenever I am in trouble. Friends, we are children. But when we pray, God answer us. God is our Father, and He hears us anytime we pray to Him. Daniel, as we read of and his friends, were young like us. David prayed when he faced Goliath, and God heard his prayer. Esther, Samuel, they were all young people. They prayed, and God rescued their nation. Anytime we hear of storms coming to attack us, let's cry to the God of heaven and God will save our dear country for the things. Amen? Amen? Let's go to the next one because 10 minutes is up. We are defining Christ. The first one says commit. How about the second one? The second one, eight says Honor. First Timothy 4 12. We have to honor Christ all the time with everything that we have and wherever we are. It's very important because sometimes. We feel like once I go to church, and I said it and I've repeated it many times, 
Once I am done with my morning worship, I can do whatever I want. But that is not what devoted people are supposed to do. We will go quickly to the next one. It says, Okay, so Christ commit, number two, Anna, number three says, raise head. Parents, teachers, authorities, and do it because it is God's command. Whenever we do it, we live longer. Okay, queer. You said also when the king asked us to worship or do something that is not right. Friends, if you are standing for God and your authorities are making a mistake, stand for God because the people we spoke of earlier didn't listen to their parents when they were telling them to do what is wrong. When you need counsels, pray to God. He will help. The next one is I. What is the I? C. Commit. H. Honor. R. Respect. I says involved. It's beautiful that yes, people are out there in the streets lighting firecrackers, Christmas! And they'll be jumping. Some of them are honking, because yes, 2015 is almost ending and let's be happy. But we are here. It's a blessing. That is why we are not out there. Why? We want to build our relationship with Christ. We want the blessings of God upon us so that we can be good men and good women for our country in the future. We need to involve ourselves with God people. S. Seek God. Okay. It's clear. And the scripture, 2 Chronicles 7 14, says, If my people, and all of us are God's people. It did not say if they're pastor, if they're church elder, if they're health elder. But if we, young and old, will pray to God, God will hear us. David prayed, Samuel prayed, Jesus prayed, the three Hebrew boys prayed, Daniel prayed. In their youthful days, in their old age, God heard their prayers. Christ. Method says, commit yourself to me, honor me, respect, involve, and seek. Let's go to the last. And is what? T. It says, Acts 1.8. This is when the people of God had come together and they felt the need. Thank you, Queer Joy Mark. Oh, I think they are still writing. This is when they committed themselves to God. They honored God in their life. They respected God. They involved themselves. They sought God. They trusted Him. And they took the step that I will tell about Jesus' love to everyone that I know. Friends, sometimes our lolos and our lolas and our teachers and teachers get sick, right? Sometimes it's the friends of our non-Adventist friends. Sometimes we can just go to them and pray. Dear God, I commit my friend's mother into your hands. I pray that you will heal the person and your name will be glorified. We can do this. That short prayer preached a 
big sermon to the whole family. And because God hears us as his children, our prayers are answered and they testify, oh, Iris came and prayed for me and now I am well. I think the God of Iris is a true God. I must also worship him. My dear brothers and sisters, when we are able to do this, that is devotional life. It begins in the morning, it continues in the afternoon, and when we sleep, even in our dream, we see visions, God telling us what we have to do. If this is something you want to do, if this is something you desire, let me see by raising your hand. If you want to have also a devotional life, like all the young people, and also like the stories that we have heard, let me see your right hand. If you want to have a devotional life, not only in the morning, not only in the afternoon, but a relationship with Jesus all the time, yes, thank you very much. It's my 10 minutes up. Thank you very much. I spent all the time. I did not give you time to ask questions. Okay. Probably at lunchtime we will answer questions. So if you see me and you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's stand and we are joined Mark to pray for us. Let's pray. Amen and Dios. Salamat po sa pagkakataw ito na kami po ay iduruan. Wala sa iba na nakasunan. Matuto Panginoon ng kahalagahan at tunay na kahalagahan ng devotion na tayo. Salamat Panginoon, tinuturuan niyo po kami. Tinatawagan na naisyo magkaroon kami ng personal na relasyon sa inyo. Nawa Panginoon, sa bawat isa mula sa kabataan hanggang sa may pinakamatanda. At kaya din sa amin at kaya din sa nagsalita ay maturuan mo kami mas lumali pa ang aming devotion na tayo. At balayin po sila sa pakikinig. Wala hindi po sila sa pagkukulay-kulay ng patuloy at sa mga kanilang puso ang kanilang natutunan sa mga minalangin sa pangalan ng Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. See you.